or your heads of lettuce. I'm going to cut them in half twice. You're actually going to quarter them. So as you can see that we have actually a quartered head of lettuce put on a rubber band. And that actually just holds the center and the leaves together. And it also gives you a place that if it's larger than your hand, uh, let's put it right here. You're actually going to see it's larger than my hand. So you've got a rubber band and your fingers above that rubber band. You tell my fingers are above it in the area. So in this way, when you run it through on the thin slice, we're going to run that through right here. And it fall directly inside of your bowl, which is wonderful. You can use this for tacos, enchiladas, tostadas. It's right in the bowl. It's fantastic. When it's to get small, for safety purposes, you can go ahead now and use the same handle. You can leave that rubber band on it. A little loose. Take your safety handles and pretty much the core. If you cut off this core right here, you'll actually not have anything to puncture. So you definitely want to leave this core in there, okay? So as you're using it, you can continue on. Now I'm going to go ahead and shred up all of my cabbage. I use this on top salads. It's an absolute. You have leftover taco meat, uh, salsa, cheese. Go ahead and put that on top of your cabbage in a container. Then, of course, when you reheat it, the cabbage will actually stay thin crunchy. The meat, the cheese, the salsa thing will be nice and warm. The cheese melted and it will taste amazing. Best leftover tacos you'll ever have. And of course, as it starts to get smaller to the core, we're going to puncture the core all the way, as you guys can do that. So the only thing that you're going to get is the cabbage itself. And we're going to get down to nothing but core. So that's test. And that's how you do your cabbage.